Hello and welcome. I'm Nafo42 and this is the 3D Creating Print, um, well, the 3D Design Tutorials for, from the 3D Creating Print magazine. Um, okay, so this one is called The Finishing Line. This is how, this is the end of it. This is the end game. Guys, this is this is the final part of the trophy build. So, what you want to do is select all, right click, and explode. This doesn't sound good, but it's fine. What it does is it just exports it like that um, into, you know, it's uh, it un objects it, pretty much. So, or uncomponents it, whichever way you want to say it. Um, so, now, we want to select the whole thing again. So we select all in its entirety, control A, um, and then we want to go right click and make a component. Um, now we want to turn it into a component as an entirety, which is fine, it's okay, um, that, because that's just what we need to do. Uh, then we want to create that, and what the heck, there's an extra bit over here somewhere. Okay, I don't, I don't know if that's uh, because these uh, these stupid lines are here. Let me just get rid of these quickly. Uh, we don't need these lines. We can just delete them like we are now. Or uh, there's a couple of other things we could do with them. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll just do it as we'll just delete them. Trophy. So I'll type in trophy. Create. And there we go. Okay, so that trophy is now an object, which is great. That's what we need. Uh, I mean, <laughs> there's a little bit of an issue here with the with the in bumps and stuff, but I mean, if you really want, you can go in and clean that up. Um, I suppose if you just like undo what we just did, you can just kind of no, no, you can't do it that way. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, well, maybe we'll get to that later. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. So, trophy. Hmm. Let's do it again. Okay. So what's that? What the hell's over here? There's nothing over here. Oh, whatever. Who cares? Um, now, what we need to do is get the... Um, well, it's not going to fit on the printer at the moment because it's way too big. So if we go to camera, go to uh, top view, um, we can get the good old fashioned tape measure and then drag from one side to the other. Now, this depends on how big you want it to be, um, but if you select one side to the other, oh, wrong button, um, undo that, we want to select it, uh, one side to the other, we want it to be 50 millimeters. So it's like five centimeters. Do you want to resize the model? Yes. Now, <laughs> how big was we making it before? Because that was, I think it was three meters wide actually. So that's quite a big fucking trophy. Excuse my language. Um, so now we have this tiny little dot down here. If we press this button up here, we're about to see it again. Um, and then we can just kind of like zoom out. And it looks like it's kind of like a normal size anyway. Um, it's kind of hard to tell when there's nothing to compare it to, really. But uh, I mean, if that guy was there, that last trophy would have probably been like three times the big, uh, uh, three times the size of him. Um, and this one is actually just five centimeters at the tip, which is good. Um, because that's how, how big we want it because now that should I think fit on the platform so if we go from top to bottom like that that is 0 0.7 meters so that's 7 centimeters why is it in, why is it in, that? Why is it in that way okay um, that's fine um, yeah so what we want to do now just quickly, we'll show you the next part, which is the extensions, um, and how how we can use the extensions in order to, um, well, allow it to export to STL, 
which is good because that's what we need if we're going to import it into the 3d printer program so uh if you go up here to tools was it tools no windows okay uh windows sorry uh and then go to extension warehouse in the top corner here you'd have to log in um then down here where it says top extensions uh sketchup stl um if it's not there then maybe search for it up in the t in the search bar and you'll find it i'm pretty sure but you click this uh i haven't installed it yet so we'll see how this goes <laughs> um but yeah it, this gives you an option in the menu to just click down here and it'll say export stl underneath import which it doesn't say in there at the moment does it so what we want to do now is just accept the terms and conditions of use confirm it and that should be okay uh, is that actually installed now? Is it installed? The extension will have the ability to access the file system on your computer. Do not grant this to be. Do not grant access to this lightly. Be sure to trust the author. Do you want to install the extension? Yeah? I don't know who actually made this, but SketchUp team made it. Yeah, we, we trust them, right? We're, we're using their software right now. Uh, which is good. Okay. Um, so now that's installed, apparently. So if we go to trophies, it's there. It's there. It's actually there. It's actually installed and done right now. So we can use that tool there or that button there to export this to an STL. Um, I, I'm not too sure on what we use on here, actually, because uh, I've never actually got this far. Um, I'm going to do it in millimeters and ASCII. Then we can export that. We'll export that to the desktop. I suppose trophy.stl um, and then once we're done with that we can press this little minimize button up here and can you see this can you see this I'm pretty sure you can hopefully you can if not then I'll take a screenshot or something like that um, but this is the 3d create and print v3 exporter basically or whatever you call it um, this is the tool that lets you get your STL model into your 3d printer so you can press load here uh, go to the desktop find the trophy.stl and doof, it just got dropped in look at that now it's ready um, I mean you can slice it up you could do all this kind of crap with it uh, in order to actually get this to get this built um, so this is actually an STL viewer as well as um, Oh, there's a ring there actually. I don't know if I built that properly at the bottom, but it might leave a layer there <laughs> of nothing. But I mean, hopefully, it will build the top layer on top of it, so that wouldn't matter too much. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll find out, won't we? Uh, not, not, not for another. Um, what am I on now? Thirty-nine. <laughs> for forty-six weeks, I think is the amount of weeks I've got to wait until I can do anything with it which is a fairly large amount of time still um, in fact it's nearly a year just under a year left and they'll be done uh, and I'll be able to print shit uh, which is cool um, so yeah that's about it for this time we can't print it right now because we don't have the printer uh, no point in slicing it because it is big enough for the printer to handle in one uh, one shoot anyway um, so yeah I mean, with this tool, you can you can do a load of different things. I haven't really messed about with this one too much. Um, you can do collaboration. You can rotate objects. You can rotate the view. Oh, this side's the view, I'm guessing. And then this side over here moves the object. So, yeah. Okay. So, you can move it around on the platform. You've got an, uh, a square down here for every square centimeter that you have on the base. Uh, you can scale it up or down. Look at that. You can make it massive. Um we could turn it around uh, I don't know if we could turn it the other way or we can remove it if we don't want it there um, but that has been it this time for uh, for the 3D um, design tutorial um, don't forget to comment and subscribe let me know what you think follow me on Twitter that's at nafear 42 and let me know what you want to see next time um, I did get an idea in for uh, uh, about offices or office uh, stuff <laughs> <clears throat> I might actually do another 
day where I just build random things that people have like um, recommended or said that they wanted to see, uh, which could be quite fun. Um, and you know, lets me get my creativity out a bit more as well because I I I like the um, pixel painters and stuff like that. I really do enjoy being uh, creative on these kind of programs. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter, that's at Nefiel42, and thanks for watching.